And wake up Charlotte's Richard Vane continuing our team coverage of the impeachment vote. So Richard, North Carolina Senator Richard Burr was one of the 57 senators who voted to convict Trump and local members of the Republican Party are not happy about that. Yeah, absolutely correct. Good morning to you, Carolyn. Good Monday morning. Not only are state GOP uh, party upset, the national party is also going to hold a meeting later today to decide to, what they want to do with these seven senators who voted to convict the former president. Today, North Carolina Senator Richard Burr faces retribution from members of his party after his vote to convict former President Donald Trump. Burr was one of only seven Republicans to vote in favor of convicting Trump of inciting an insurrection at the U.S. Capitol this January the 6th. Senator Tom Tillis voted not guilty. So did South Carolina Senators Lindsey Graham and Tim Scott. The final vote was 57 to 43, but two-thirds majority was needed for conviction. After the vote, Burr issued this statement, saying in part, the president promoted unfounded conspiracy theories to cast out on the integrity of a free and fair election because he did not like the results. The president directed his supporters to go to the Capitol to disrupt the lawful proceedings required by the Constitution. When the crowd became violent, the president used his office to first inflame the situation instead of immediately calling for an end to the assault. Burr went on to say the president bears responsibility for these tragic events. In a short statement from the North Carolina GOP says, North Carolina Republican sent Richard Burr to the United States Senate to uphold the Constitution, and his vote today to convict in a trial that he declared unconstitutional is shocking and disappointing. Yeah, so far the state of Louisiana has censured its its senator, uh, Senator Sasser, and we can tell you that later today the Republicans will meet to decide what to do uh, about these seven senators. It's another note that we want to tell you, six of those senators are not seeking re-election. We're in Charlotte, Richard Devane for Wake Up Charlotte.